What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. It seems to be that there are so many new players. Well, they're not new players. They're just different versions of the same players. So you've got Messi, Mbappe, and Gavardiol. I think, yeah, look, I'm going to say it, right? I think these are probably three of the best players in the game at the moment, based on their stats, based on their standard versions, based on other versions that I have played a lot with. I've used Gervardial a lot. Obviously, Mbappe and Messi are big parts of my team. Mbappe I got kind of qu quite recently, but he's been a monster for me, especially in the Cups and the event and the Challenge events. Messi has just been my, one of my main men. He's absolutely incredible. And this card looks to be the best version of him apart from the Legend Edition, right? So we are going to take a look at, of, uh, at the squads and at the player uh, packs. There's 150 players in this pack. If you are lucky, you probably will get one of these. But the rest of the players in this are probably kind of forgettable enough. There are a couple of hidden ones in there. Like Diaz is a, kind of a hidden gem. Latara Martinez is very good. Sané, Vinicius, there's some good players there, Zelinski. Um, but we're going to be focused on the three top boys, and we are going to start with Gavardiol. Gavardiol does have his face mask in this, so if you want to play with Batman, this is your chance to do it. So I think this card, lads, genuinely is probably one of the best cards that they have released. The last version of Gavardiol in The Shining Stars was very, very um, poor defensive awareness-wise. So his defensive awareness wasn't great. We'll take a look in a second. But his player skills, right? You've got blocker, interception, man marker, and aerial superiority and sliding tackle. Now, he does have acrobatic clearance, which can be a bit of an issue sometimes, but he also has the heading player skills, so that kind of overrides that. And he's got weighted pass as well to be able to play out from the back, so you don't need to worry too much about his passing. His ball control and dribbling, we will um, take a look whether we'll upgrade that a little bit or not. But the best thing about these cards, why they're so overpowered, lads, and why they're going to be the new meta, I think, Garvardio, Mbappe, and Messi, is the fact that they've all gone on wavering form with B rating. So until the live update comes back, these players on B rating are going to be absolutely insane. Like, I mean, they're going to be up more often than not. And if you've got a fully up Messi, Mbappe, and Gavardiol on your team, or even, you know, fairly good form, they are going to be better than whatever your opponent has, unless he's got the players as well. So there are a couple of exceptions, but yeah, we are going to go over to eFootballDB and show you guys how I trained this guy up. So firstly, we've done what we've done is we've just kind of boosted up his defensive awareness to 90. Now, there's a couple of things you could do with this card, right? Because of his mixture of player skills and because of his mixture of stats right we're not going to max him out and do the auto allocation and obviously get every stat uh just kind of auto allocated for us because i always stay away from that i look at what type of player i need gavardial to be for me so within my formation i'm going to be usually playing a lot of five at the back so if gavardial is going to be beside carlos he doesn't need to be wicked fast because carlos will be able to cover all the left side of the flank uh, with the right wingers and take that role if I keep him defensive and Gavardiel is just going to be mopping up everything that comes centrally and on the left if you know somebody gets back get, gets past Carlos so for me my main kind of thing with Gavardiel training him up is defense and uh, strength and speed that's kind of what I want him for I don't really need to let him play out from the back because I'm going to have another center back to do that or two center backs to do that where I can kind of get on the ball type possession or whatever so I'm going to max out his defending with 12 points that brings up his defensive awareness his tackling and his aggression to 90 which is insane we also have the speed right so there's a few ways you can train up the speed if you want to right the reason why I've done the lower body strength so high is to bring up his speed to 84 and his stamina to 82. Like if you have his stamina at 80 or 79, it is going to cause a little bit of an issue uh, depending on how you play. You know, if you're going to be a very aggressive player, you are going to tire out and you don't want your center backs tiring out, right? But you do not really need, I don't think, anything over 80. So you could potentially put that to 82 and 80. You could also do the same with the dexterity. You could have that at 80 as well. So you could have the acceleration and that brings down the offensive awareness, which obviously is going to keep him a little bit more defensive. Now, from here, we could pump another two in to get his defensive engagement up and his defensive awareness tackling and aggression up, uh, which brings up his car to 95 again. Or else we could pump it into aerial strength, right? Where it brings it up to a 96 overall. Now, I think that for Gervardial in the air, I think it's kind of a waste of time with the new kind of meta at the moment you could do that that is probably how i would train him up you've got enough speed stamina acceleration and you've got enough aerial ability to you know compete with anybody but you've also got that defense that is absolutely top quality now his shining stars one lads is 11 points down worse right from base level is 11 points worse than this card so this card is 78 by default defensive awareness and 76 speed 
This guy is 77 speed, but 67 awareness. So it's a huge discrepancy there that you do need to kind of really play Gervardial as, you know, he is going to be promoted as playing, like which is a really, really good defender of the ball. I think this Gervardial card could be one of the best cards ever released from Konami. It looks absolutely incredible. Um, and I think that he's definitely going to be one to watch, especially when he's got the face mask. Now, we've also got Mbappe that we're going to focus on next. I've, I've kind of featured Mbappe quite a bit, right? So Mbappe, again, unwavering form. He's got all the player skills you could possibly want, including one-touch pass, which is huge for a centre-forward. We are going to be playing Mbappe as a centre-forward, not as a winger. Um, you've got double-touch, first-time shot and one-touch pass, rising shot, acrobatic finishing. You've got chip shot control everything you could possibly want the only thing i think that with mbappe you have to be careful of is that you know you don't get any track back with him like he's not one of those kind of players that is going to track back a bit unless you obviously you know man mark him to bring him back in the pitch but then you're kind of wasting him because he is just so like wicked fast but you have to be able to play with Mbappe. It's a different type of experience playing with Mbappe than it is to somebody like, um, you know, obviously Collar or Lewandowski. But even somebody like Romanegi or somebody like Romario, they are similar in ways, but in other ways, they are kind of different because Mbappe is just pure blister and speed, you know, one touch, very direct kind of play. So possession style football doesn't really suit him as much as others like Messi um, or somebody like Son or somebody like Romario that can kind of, you know, mix it around because of Mbappe's passing, right? So when we look at his training uh, guide here, we've 31 levels to train. We're going to boost nine into shooting, nine into dribbling, eight into lower body strength, and 10 into dexterity. So what does this kind of give us, right? That gives us 90 offensive awareness, 90 finishing, 90 balance, 92 speed, and 94 acceleration. Absolutely incredible. The dribbling, ball control, and tight possession are on par with some of the best strikers and wingers in the game. You've got the speed, you've got the strength, you've got the power. The only thing you don't have really here that I think is a bit of a pity is his low pass, right, with this card. Now, if you wanted to sacrifice, I wouldn't sacrifice dexterity, but if you wanted to sacrifice his stamina down to 80, that's kind of how they balance these cards. Uh, you saw the same with Gervardiol, you're not going to have massively high stamina. Um, you could obviously pump up into four into his low pass there, with just taking two from his lower body strength and four into passing. It's not going to make a massive difference on the card. Um... And you could do that if you really wanted to, but I would definitely not touch anything else. You need to have about 90 finishing. Um, you know, you need to have the rest of them. If you wanted to reduce the finishing to 88, if you're a fairly good player, you could bring that low pass up to 74. And that's kind of a slightly modified version of the card. But look, I've, I've focused on Mbappe quite a bit. This is going to be an insane... Mbappe is basically a point and shoot, lads. He is the most noob friendly and the more the easiest player to use genuinely he is the easiest player to use all you have to do is get the ball run turn and shoot with him genuinely he's so good in the game um and if you see how he trains up here like with his player of the week version right you've got 90 dribble and 90 offensive awareness 90 acceleration 93 speed his physical contact is slightly higher and his passing is slightly higher so this is probably the more better rounded player if you do have this version of mbappe this one here um he's a more better rounded like that you can use him with everything but i think this version that we have here the big time because of that b form and because of the player skills that he does have obviously he's got a few different player skills um and the way that you're able to train him up i just think just stay away from passing you don't need it you you know you have enough in 68 to be able to bring players into the ball when you get the ball with mbappe lads all you're going to be doing is turning and shooting with him so i would either you know pump it up max out his acceleration and his balance um and his offensive awareness or else i would pump in a few more into his dexterity or his lower body strength if you wanted to do that as well so there's a few different ways that you can train him up if you want to keep that shooting a little bit lower and get him to a 99 overall you can do that with the finishing at 88 and then offensive awareness 90 balance 90 acceleration and speed 94 93 so that is how i would train up mbappe and then last but not least we have messi now messi this is an unusual one because messi actually has a brand new face lads right he's got a brand new face scan he's got the world cup style um look going on about him unwavering form top class player skills as usual with messi now i'm kind of different in how i would train up messi than most people right because the one thing you're going to look at there with messi is his speed and his stamina which is a big issue on all his cards it's not just this card the only card that doesn't really have that issue um is his legend edition that they released way back when but every other card that he has is going to have that issue including his standard card is that speed 
and uh, stamina, right? So if you have his legend card, which I have, you're not going to have this issue because his stamina is quite, you know, it's quite decent. But this card is going to obviously struggle with that 72 stamina and 71 speed, but it is still one of the best versions of Messi that they have released. But the reason why I say I'm kind of different with Messi is I like to train him for a pure shooting. Like if you're not kind of curl shotting with Messi, if you're not trying to score from long range with those long range curls and, um, you know, keeping your opponent guessing with what you're doing, then I think you are kind of wasting this card. You know, there's better wingers than Messi in the game, faster, excuse me, faster players um, than him. There's better strikers than him that have, you know, like blistering pace and like good shooting ability. You know, there's better players in the air than him. So you have to use Messi to his strengths. And this is what I would train Messi to be, right? So he maxes out as a 98. This is my recommended build to Messi, right? You're going to pump nine levels into shooting, two into passing, eight into dribbling, nine into dexterity, and eight into lower body strength, right? So that gives you 79 speed, 87 acceleration and kicking power, 80 stamina, 93 balance. And then the rest of his stats here are absolutely insane. 94 finishing, 88 curl, ball control, dribbling, possession, 91, 90, and 90, and offensive awareness, 94. Now, if, if 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 this was me, right, and I'm training Messi up, play, having played with Messi for so long and having played with Messi and scored so many goals with him, I am definitely trying to get that finishing and curl up as high as it can go while still having the acceleration. Because if you are going to be shooting with Messi, you don't need to... You don't need to be like absolutely, you know, like running and gunning with Messi all the time. You could also play him as an AMF if you want to boost up his passing a little bit. You don't need to worry too much about his lofted pass, but you could worry about his low pass. So that is something that you could take up as well. If you wanted to reduce his shooting and you want to have him more as a passer, 92 finishing and 86 is still enough. And then you just boost up his passing a little bit there. You could also take away from his acceleration and then you could boost that up as well, his passing to get it to 86. There's a load of ways to train Messi. But if it was me, as I said, right, starting from scratch just to do this because I know people will ask even though it's there. If it's me, you have to make a decision. I think that you should definitely boost up Messi's speed or his um, shooting ability by nine points there. Get that finishing up to 94 and the curl up to 88. And then obviously you're going to be able to unlock a load of new animations to be able to like, you know, score absolutely amazing long range curling shots if you're a good shooter if you're not a good shooter then go for the second build i'll do in a second passing you don't really need to touch the passing if you're going to be shooting a good bit especially cutting in from the wing he's got better passing than most wingers if you are going to be using that as a messy shooting in you know on the cutting in on the left flank dribbling i would boost up the dribbling maybe a little bit there um to get it up to six and then the main goal for me is going to be getting his speed and stamina up so we get that up to 80 and 81 and then the rest is going to go into offensive awareness, dexterity, finishing. Uh, you're going to get the acceleration and balance up as well. So that's the one version of Messi that I would have if you're looking for a shoot first, you know, like a lot of finesse shooting, a lot of curl shots, um, a lot of long range shots from Messi if you're going to be placing them in. That is one version of him. If you're looking for a more well-rounded player, then this is how I would train him. I would get that dexterity up to 85. I would get the dribbling. I would leave the dribbling there. I would take down his shooting to 90. And I would leave that at 90. And then obviously I would put maybe eight into that. And then I would probably decide to put maybe two into dribbling to bring it up to 90. So that's the second version of Messi I would get. And that player can, you know, link everything, can play as an AMF and SS. He can also play on the wing. He's just going to be shooting a little bit less, but taking on players more with speed and with dribbling and stuff. So that is the two versions of Messi. So that is it, lads. Look, I mean, they're going to keep releasing these versions of the players because people are... You know, there's a lot of people that are hyped about like 10 versions of Messi. So, um, you know, that is what it is at the moment. But yeah, I will talk to you in a bit. Hope you guys subscribe. We are on the road to 25,000 subscribers. It would be insane to get it in the next couple of months. And uh, yeah, hope you're enjoying the daily content and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.